Guys, why is Harry so dirty? Someone really needs to tell him to take a bath. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out another Clint Eastwood movie. Today we are checking out Dirty Harry and I'm really excited for Dirty Harry because this is a title of a movie. This is a movie in general that I've heard quite a bit about. Not about the movie itself but just people kind of throwing out the title name Dirty Harry. I also know that this is part of a series. I don't know how connected these movie series are, but there's like three or four or maybe even five movies. Maybe it's just the same character doing different things. I'm not quite sure how this series is connected, but I do know that there are a few other movies in this like Dirty Harry series. I haven't really seen that many Clint Eastwood movies before. I watched one on the channel and that's about it. So I'm really excited to dive into Clint Eastwood. I'm going to be slowly doing it over the course of the next however long on the channel. I'm not going to just watch a whole bunch of Clint Eastwood movies back to back, but I'm spreading a few of them out because I want to get to know Clint Eastwood. He's a very famous actor and I've never really seen any of his movies before. And since we are at home today, there is no lighting unfortunately, but we do have my puppy Huxley. She is right here fast asleep. Hopefully she will be watching the movie with us today in its entirety. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much for checking out. Let's get back to the video. Okay, I don't really know what to expect. I'm just hoping Clint Eastwood is really cool in this movie. So anyways, I hope you enjoy my reaction to Dirty Harry. Why is this guy trying to snipe a woman? Or is he just looking? I am so stressed. What the heck? No! Oh. Oh, God. Ah, oh, there's Clint Eastwood. I didn't recognize him for a second. I've never seen young Clint Eastwood before. I've only kind of seen old Clint Eastwood. The music is also so groovy at the moment. This is me playing the drums. Huh, there are already some really cool shots. Dude, this is so cool already, the beautiful scenery, and Clint Eastwood hasn't even said a word, and he's already so cool. He's found the spot. He's found the position. Oh, he left something. He left a bullet casing. And there's a note as well to the city of San Francisco, I'm assuming. I will enjoy killing one person every day until you pay me $100,000. Dude, ask for more, man. My next pleasure to kill a Catholic priest or a Scorpio. Really? Don't let this guy do that. 100,000 isn't like an extraordinary amount. Well, maybe it was whenever this was made. All right, let's have it. Have what? The report. What have you been doing? <laughs> Just walking around. Well, for the past three quarters of an hour, I've been sitting on my ass in your outer office. Won't you sit down, Inspector Callahan? <laughs> I've just been sitting down for three quarter of an hour. That's what I just said. <laughs> I want to stand. Thank you. Pretty sure it's a 30 odd six. Seven lands and blues, right hand twist. Ah, uh, sir. We're Stop interrupting him. It'll get us some more breathing space. So it might get somebody killed. Yeah, but someone's going to die anyways, right? Male uh, with intent to commit rape. I shoot the bastard. That's my policy. Ah, that's a great policy. I figure he is now collecting for the Red Cross. Yeah. Dude, I was, sorry, I was listening to what he was saying, but I was also just admiring his hair. He has great hair. Parked across in front of the bank. Turn four. That is such a long and, like, bendy wiener. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, 211 in progress at the bank. The bank robbery. Just wait till the cavalry arrives. There we go, there we go, he was right! Oh, oh nice shot! Not the flowers! 
Not the flowers. In every movie, basically, a flower shop will get destroyed, like every action movie. So just lesson learned, don't have a flower shop. He's still eating his hot dog. Dude, why is he so cool? I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Oh! You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Ah, that's... I know that's famous. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> No. Oh my god. Harry. Oh my god. He knew. He knew this whole time. Experience just a little discomfort, Harry. But if you do, just have your wife to fix a. Uh, sorry, Harry. So I feel like there's something happened to his wife because the doctor said sorry, Harry, when talking about a wife. This is cool. I love all these lookouts. And this shot in the helicopter is real. That's so awesome. You want to see me, Lieutenant? Yeah. Hey, uh, when the hell are you going to get a haircut? Don't get a haircut, man. I'd even kill you to say thanks. <laughs> Much rather say thanks to a raise. Hey, Harry. <laughs> Save. You know what happens to the guys that I've worked with. Dietrich's still in the hospital with a bullet in his gut, and Fanducci's dead. You don't protect your partners very well. What's your degree? Sociology. Uh, sociology. Just don't want your college degree to get you killed. I'm not going to get killed along with you. Now remember that. This is a great shot. Well, that's one thing about our Harry. Doesn't play any favorites. Harry hates everybody. Blinders. So true. Those niggers, honkies, chinks. You name it. This man, this guy right here just used every slur in the book. Seems like our second murder is about to go underway. Oh, cool. We haven't seen their face yet. Oh, never mind. We have. How come everyone has such great flowing hair in this movie? No, not this guy in purple, man. He looks so happy. I love the music. It's like this groove mixed with this unnerving string, and it makes it so creepy. Why do you have to kill that one person? And the way the drums get faster. I'm so stressed. They're not gonna find him, it's gonna be a different guy. Oh. Oh, they actually found him. I can't believe they actually found him. They saved that guy's life. Ten suitcase. Where? I lost him. Oh, what? Where'd you see that? I didn't even see that. Hey, get the hell out of the way, hammerhead. <laughs> he actually hates everyone. Is that him? I don't think it is. I'll go in here. Okay. They seem to be enjoying each other's company though at the moment. That's good. I don't think that's him, man. I didn't see the long wavy hair. It is so dark, I can't see anything at the moment. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's not him. I am a police. Oh. Up against the wall right now, move. These guys are doing justice, though. Oh, let him go. You heard me. I'm assaulting a police officer. Yeah, but for good reason. Yeah. But what? Oh, but why they call you Dirty Harry? Oh, I see what he's getting at here. Why does that siren sound so synthy, you know? Like, you could turn that into a beat and start dancing to it. Maybe this guy's sociology degree will come in handy here. But now that you're here, I mean, I go. I'm sure appreciate it. 
Dude, Dirty Harry talking him down will be like, <laughs> just be insulting the guy the entire time. Imagine seeing Clint Eastwood slowly appear from the abyss. Couldn't tell which legs were with which, which arms were with which, and then... I think I'm gonna... Puke! Oh, I don't... This guy, yeah, scare tactics them, I guess. Oh, yeah, make him so angry with you, make him fight you, and then you keep him here, and you saved him. Actually, <laughs> Actually, best tactic though, like, he got so angry, he jumped, grabbed onto the thing, and now he's saved. <laughs> Reverse psychology. <laughs> Clint Eastwood basically was saying, like, jump, come at me, buddy, jump and come at me. Now you know why they call me Dirty Harry. Every dirty job that comes along. That makes sense, man. I like how this movie, it's like, we have the sniper plotline, which is like the main plotline. But so far, we've done a bunch of other just police work stuff as well with Dirty Harry. It's been very fun. His name was Charlie Russell. I'm his mother. He's only 10 years old. 10? Are you serious? The sniper sniped a child? That's next level. That's Lex Neville cruelty. Well, there's no elephant, Harry. There's no animal of any kind. Remember that. What you got, Lieutenant? I mean, someone who kills a child is an animal, I gotta say. Don't know if you can classify them as a human anymore. It's very clear that you are the St. Peter and Paul's church, and they're having an event tonight. Oh, interesting. I told him we had a volunteer to take his place. Who? Never guess. Yeah. Who would volunteer to get shot? Whoa. Oh. oh, no, those are people making out. I knew he was gonna come back. Dude, Dirty Harry is dirty for th a few different reasons. Oh, what's happening right now? Why is this woman just naked meeting these people? Oh! Find the sniper, man. The music is so good again! I bet his intuition is telling him to run. I'm also very sorry. Oh, there we go, man. Oh, come on, shoot him. You didn't get him. You didn't get him. <laughs> this guy is having so much fun shooting a sign. Oh, he left. He left. You guys needed to have guards like posted at the bottom, like hidden, and then when he goes up the roof, have people blocking all the entrances at the bottom of the roof. Bottom of the building, I should say. Oh, maybe they did do that. Oh, God. Headquarters is loose in North Beach somewhere. I'm also gonna apologize if it's hard to see on YouTube, if it's hard to see what's happening in this movie on the little screen here because it's hard for me to see what's happening on screen sometimes because it's so dark. Whole new ball game, fellas. He grabbed a 14-year-old girl. He grabbed a 14-year-old girl? Are you serious? One man with yellow bag, south side marina, 9 p.m. She has oxygen until 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. What the heck? Anything cute and you will force me to let girl die of slow suffocation. Signed, Scorpio. Oh my god. This guy's a monster. The dentist identified that. Ew! Said it was poor. Oh, the poor girl. We're looking for a bag man. You want the job? Yes, give Harry the job. No wonder they call him Dirty Harry. Always gets the shit end of the stick. <laughs> Testing one, two, Ow. three. What the hell are you doing? They're allowed. Two or three blocks, but like in a tunnel. Forget it. Alright, Sid. Why do you mention a tunnel? Are we going into a tunnel? $200,000. Count it and sign for it. How's Clint Eastwood? I'd jump on a plane and go somewhere else? Keep the money. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. There's people's lives at stake at the moment. You putting it at the bottom of your shoe? Because if so, that's genius. Something like that. 
But never mind. He's just keeping it into his leg. I thought he was gonna like tape it to the bottom of his shoe. I have a little kick knife. There's a phone ringing. You should answer it. He's so far away, man. Why you can't, why can't you call somewhere closer? I give you a certain amount of time to go from phone booth to phone booth. I ring four times. You don't answer by the fourth ring. I hang up and that's the end of the game. Girl dies. Jeez, this is intense. Huh. Yeah. I hope you're not stupid. Dude, this guy's got it all planned out. Count. Wrong phone, buddy. Oh, he's gonna be running a marathon tonight. I hope he's ready. I hope he's got that cardio fitness. And they're in tunnels. They're in, he's in a tunnel now, so it won't work. Why is that subway car so small, though? I'm really scared that Gonzalez, I think his partner's name is, is going to die right now. I love that you can hear the phone slowly and then it gets louder and louder as he gets closer. Hubba, 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 pig bastard. Oh god. What's in the bag, man? Oh no! Run! Faster! No! never saw him before. No! No! Go to the cross. Okay, I thought that old guy just ruined everything. I see a couple people. What, they're just making out in the park? Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, it is so dark. Like, I really appreciate the use of only natural light, but it's gonna be hard to see on YouTube, so I apologize for that. Okay, he's at the cross. The music's so creepy. I like the camera work right now, too. It looks like someone's watching him. Raise your hand. Come on, get him up. He's still got his knife, though. Oh. <laughs> Why, man? No, wait, sir. Do we understand each other? If you care what happens to the girl, you better answer me. Oh, this guy's so creepy. <laughs> I'm going to let her die. I just wanted you to know that. <laughs> Yes! Nice! Yes, knife him! Knife him! No! No! Oh, nice! You should have stabbed him, taken the knife out again so you had your knife still. Come on, get up! Get up and find him! And find her! Oh, God. You have to get up. You have to get up. If you let him go now, he's gonna kill the girl. Little report on Gonzalez looks okay, Chief. Yeah, well, he's a pretty tough kid. Okay, I'm glad that he's alive. Park emergency. They say they just treated a guy who has a knife wound in the leg. Ah, that's him, that's him. Could you give him something for his chest? He's in terrible pain. Yes, just a moment. Okay, so they still have an hour for the girl. The groundskeeper lets him live there. There. He's our stadium. The doctor's a hero. The worst part about climbing a fence like that is getting over the top. Ah, Jesus Christ. Eyeball jump scare. Yeah, this looks like where he lives. And he has a bad leg, so he can't really run. What a loser, man. Hmm, kind of genius. 
I hope you fall. I hope you fall down the stairs. Dude's just running into open spaces. You don't want to be in open spaces if you're running away from someone. Haha, <laughs> cool man! Oh, you shot both his legs, good. We shot his other leg, I guess. Please give me the doctor! Don't kill me! The girl, where is she? Haha, <laughs> where is she? Where's the girl? I have the right for lion! You're gonna shoot his leg again, dude. I have right for lion! Oh! What a shot! What a shot! That's incredible! Oh, is she dead? Oh no! She might be alive. Oh, she might be dead. I had hoped that she was alive, but no, she's dead. She's dead. I honestly hope this guy rots in prison forever. I've just been looking over your arrest report. Very unusual piece of police work. But it worked. You found the girl. Effects. Deny medical attention and legal counsel. Where have you been? I mean, yeah, you can't do that as a police officer. You I could... mean, you must have heard of the Fourth Amendment. Like, I could probably get off without any charges because of this bad arrest. But news for you, Callahan. As soon as he's well enough to leave the hospital, he walks talking about yeah because you didn't arrest him properly because i'm not wasting a half a million dollars of the taxpayers money on a trial we can't possibly win yeah exactly but it's inadmissible as evidence and who says that it's the law well then the law is crazy the law is a little wild yeah, such as that hunting rifle for instance is inadmissible in court yeah search warrant there was a girl dying she was in fact dead according to the medical yeah but you didn't know that all physical evidence would have to be excluded. That is so stupid. Yeah, I mean, you know that the, he's done it, but you can't try him on it. There must be something you can get him. Yeah, it seems like there has to be a workaround. I don't want him on the streets any more than you do. He won't be out there long. What is that supposed to mean? I'm gonna hunt him down. I can't believe this guy is just walking. I thought this whole like that whole confrontation at the stadium was going to be the end of the movie, but it seems like it isn't. And you're just letting him go near children. That was very unexpected. Wonder where this guy is going, or is he just going to hide? Every penny of it. What's happening? Is he gonna look different then or something? Is he getting some form of surgery? Oh. Imagine your job is just to punch people and you get paid to punch people like this. You sure you want the rest of it? Every penny's worth. Oh. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you claiming that the San Francisco police did this to you? Oh my god. His, his name is Callahan. He's a big cop. Worst homicide. It's Callahan. Oh my god. The frame job, man. You want my star? I want an answer. Have you been following that man? No. Well, yes, but no. Hell, I didn't do that to him. How? Oh. Because he looks too damn good, that's how. <laughs> that's epic. I'm gonna go into teaching so I don't have to die. It's kind of like his other partner in the movie that I watched in in the line of fire, but that partner dies sadly. Um, this is a perfect sniping window. Oh, but me, it's when I watch him walk out that door at night. Look, am I the only one? I mean, doesn't it drive your wife crazy? I don't have a wife. She was driving home late one night and was drunk across the center line. Why do you stay in it then? I don't know. I really don't. He doesn't know. I love that this guy is getting progressively more beat up though as the movie goes on. It's nice to see him in pain. Please. I scare easy. <laughs> oh! No! I knew this was gonna happen. 
barely took any money. He just took a bottle and some stuff. He didn't even go into the register or anything. I am also now very concerned. Why are we showing a school bus full of kids? Drive or I'll decorate this bus with your brains. I gotta take my guitar. Oh my god. Sing for us. Oh my god, E-I-E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O. This is actually horrific. Honey, this is Inspector Callahan. Oh yes, the mirror is waiting for you. That's such a dark hallway. Messages. Who I will be happy to kill if you don't do exactly what I say, Scorpio. This is what you happens when you let this guy back on the street when you know he's killed some people before. Now, if you got the guts to play this game by the rules, the kids will have a nice little plane ride. Oh, where are you? Plane ride? When I get on the plane, no alerts, nothing. Why are the kids going on the plane? Priscilla Platt, Miss Chelsea. Callahan, willing to take the money to him? Again. I gave my word of honor on it, and he will not be molested. And that's a direct order, Callahan! Well, you can just get yourself another delivery boy. Yeah, honestly, like, this guy has to be stopped. Oh, this is so disturbing. Oh my god! Oh my god. This actor is doing such a good job of being so terrifying. Oh, things are getting chaotic. The move, the music's back. Oh my god, like the Lone Ranger. No way. No way. No way. Dude, this is so cool. Someone's actually on top of a bus. I think staying in the bus was your best bet, to be honest with you. Because now you've left all your hostages and now you're alone. But I'm glad he's left them. Oh, they're safe. Harry catches you, he's not leaving you alive this time. That's so cool, man! He's found another hostage. Why is there just some random kid fishing at a quarry? The laugh. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Run, child! I know what you're thinking, punk. Oh, it's the same thing, but it's gonna be a bullet. But being this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and will blow your head clean. Oh, this is so epic. You could ask yourself a question Do I feel lucky? <laughs> He's gonna go for the gun. He's gonna get shot. Well, do you, punk? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> oh! doesn't even need to say anything else. Oh my god. That was a pretty good movie, I gotta say. I love that ending. Well, are you feeling lucky, punk? And that was my reaction to Dirty Harry, the 1971 action crime Clint Eastwood movie starring Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry, Andrew Robinson, and oh, it's creepy, creepy man Scorpio over here, William Peterson, Rene Santoni, Santoni, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his last name, and John Vernon. Before we get into this review though, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like and subscribe. It is free and it helps out the channel a lot. And you know, who doesn't like free things? Anyways, thank you so much if you do that. And now let's get back to the review. I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I had an issue with like a few issues with it, but besides those few issues, which I'll talk about in a second, I had a blast watching Clint Eastwood play this super cool cop, and I'm pretty sure he plays basically the same character in not just every movie of the Dirty Harry sees, but every character that he's ever played Clint Eastwood. He's always just like this really cool, kind of grumbly, but epic 
cop, you know what I mean? Doesn't say too many words, but gets the job done. And that's Clint Eastwood, and he plays that character so well. Wondering how mu much my dog liked the movie as well. She stayed the entire movie, first of all, which means that she enjoyed it. If she leaves the movie, you know, usually that means that she didn't enjoy it too much or something like that. But she stayed for the entire Dirty Harry, so maybe Huxley's a, a Clint Eastwood fan or something like that. So let me just ask, how, did you enjoy the movie? She said yes. She said yes in her own like sleepish way. She she enjoyed the movie and I also really enjoyed it. There were just a lot of really cool things. I just loved the police work in this movie and Clint Eastwood himself was fantastic. But I think what kind of made this movie was the villain. And Andrew Robinson's Scorpio was so terrifying and brutal and gruesome and dark. And I didn't expect him to just keep getting worse and worse and worse but when we saw him on screen and he was just so crazy and out there but you could tell there was a some sophistication with him as well and i think mixing clint eastwood's character dirty harry with andrew robinson scorpio they were just a really good like foil for each other i guess maybe not foil isn't the right word but you know they contrasted each other really well and it was really fun watching clint eastwood go on this goose chase basically to find out who Scorpio was and to capture Scorpio. Now I did have a few issues with the movie which I'll talk about right now before I get into all the things that I liked about the movie and my issues were one the lighting. I thought that even though the lighting was for the majority of the movie really really good I actually thought the lighting is one of the good things about the movie. I, I really like the use of the natural lighting and stuff like that like this whole movie was shot using natural lighting and I think that's also where some of the issues arose because whenever it was night in this movie it was so hard to see maybe it's just the tv that i'm watching it on maybe it's the quality of the version of the movie that i'm watching but there were some shots in this movie there are some scenes in this movie that i just couldn't see at all and so putting that onto youtube as well it'll be impossible for you to see like to be honest it'll be like it'll be like just watching a black screen and i'm very sorry if that was the case it probably wasn't that enjoyable to watch but there are moments where it was just basically a black screen on my TV monitor as well. Like there are instances, for example, when Clint Eastwood is like doing that peeping Tom thing when he thinks it's the guy with the briefcase, but it's actually just like this Chinese guy or something like that. And he's standing on top of the trash cans peeping into the room when he's like walking to try and find the trash can in the alleyway. And then does he like hits a cat or something and then he steps on the trash cans. That whole sequence, I couldn't see any of it. It was just a black screen with a little bit of light from the window at the top and I really do appreciate the attempt to use natural lighting for everything and it really did work to help bring out the grunginess of San Francisco and just to make it feel a lot more like grounded and realistic. I really appreciate it but I could have used a little bit more light in some of the darker situations not in terms of thematic darkness but in terms of actual light. There wasn't a lot of light in some situations and so again it could just be the setup that I have here at home or it could be the actual fault of the lighting itself but there were just situations where the movie was too dark. Another one of my faults with this movie was the pacing of this movie felt a little weird. Like they had that huge climactic moment at the end I'm gonna say at the halfway point at just over the halfway point during the second act of this movie and I thought that was the end of the movie everything was ramping up Clint Eastwood was about to face our perpetrator Scorpio one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that we had the huge zoom out shot of the stadium and stuff he'd found out where the girl was it seemed like it was wrapping up and then there were still like 45 minutes ish left of the movie and while those 45 minutes were good I enjoyed them the movie between the Scorpio stealing the school bus of kids and Scorpio being tortured basically by Dirty Harry in the football stadium that moment of the movie it started to lose me a little bit because it felt like a lot of the momentum of Dirty Harry had kind of started to leave because the momentum had been building and building and building and building and building to that football sequence and then it was let go because the climactic thing happened and then it felt like the movie was trying to build again and again because we had that final showdown and I enjoyed the final showdown it just felt like it lost a lot of steam 
team having to now rebuild and rebuild and rebuild and rebuild and so it started to lose my attention a little bit but the ending of this movie was fantastic the way that he reiterates that quote that he said at the start of the movie i don't know if like i lost count you know like you may be thinking did he shoot five or six or did he shoot six or five and to be honest in this all in this like adrenaline and stuff like that whatever he said i lost count myself but the question you should really be asking is do you feel lucky well do ya punk <laughs> it's so good and i loved how he said it again it was a great way to end the movie that's his last line of the movie he doesn't need to say any other like kill line or something after he kills them like an arnold schwarzenegger movie or something like that he just nothing just looks throws his badge into the water and walks off into the sunset it was such a perfect ending and i'm sorry that i talked a lot about the flaws of this movie i think they were just two things that really held this movie back from me super enjoying the movie it was mostly the pacing which kind of held this movie back for me in terms of i thought this movie was great but i think i would have thought this movie was amazing if maybe some parts of this movie were, were shifted around a bit but honestly it's not too much of a complaint because even the stuff that i thought was a little slow i still enjoyed anyways let's get to the reviews of this movie then i'll talk about the music and then just other things like the directing which i thought were fantastic okay so 7.7 .7 out of 10 on imdb which is audience score and 89 percent on rotten tomatoes which is the critic score so seems like a lot of people really enjoy this movie and i agree with the audience score here quite a bit 7.7 .7, i think is a totally fair and a very good score for this movie and i'm really glad that people like this movie i know a lot of people really love clint eastwood and i've never really seen him before so it's he's kind of turning me into a Clint Eastwood fan with In the Line of Fire and now Dirty Harry and I'm wondering if the the next movies in the Dirty Harry whatever trilogy quadrilogy however many movies there are I wonder if they are also received as well as this one the music in this movie as well was really good i don't know why i wasn't expecting like a lot of great music i don't know the music wasn't one of the things i thought was going to be great in this movie going into it but it was really really good the way that it built up this tension and the suspense with this really chaotic soundtrack that had this like groovy almost like dance thing going to it you know it was kind of like making me want to dance because it felt like like it was like a type of music where it felt like nothing was going to be wrong but then that type of music was mixed with this really screechy unsettling violin like ee, ee, you know stuff like that and the two mixes of unsettling and like this little bit groovy jivey type of music combining the two made for this really creepy soundtrack that would keep building and building and building in all the suspenseful sequences and i also really enjoyed how during a lot of the shootouts there were no music at all it was just the die diegetic sound of the world the guns firing the feet walking and stuff like that the silence as well was great when the guns stopped firing and people were ducking for cover and they were trying to see like dirty harry would be like trying to see where scorpio was and there was just complete silence no music or anything i thought that was fantastic as well and yeah i just thought the music overall did a really good job of making me very unsettled at times making me very excited at other times making me like oh my god a lot of times like i thought the music in this movie was fantastic i also thought the directing in this movie was really really good again i wasn't expecting amazing directing i was expecting like very simple directing with clint eastwood really stealing the show and clint eastwood did steal the show i will admit clint eastwood stole the show as well as andrew robinson as scorpio he stole the show as a villain as this the most unsettling villain i've seen in a while to be honest with you but the directing also did its part to really elevate this movie from like your generic cop trying to find psychopath killer movie because the directing was really good and it was still simple but it was done very very well there are some fairly elaborate shots there was this long take near the start of the movie where clint eastwood meets renee santono's character and they're just walking through the police station and clint eastwood's asking him all these questions and the camera's just following their backs and they go to a door and clint eastwood unlocks the door and then they go into the door and he talks to someone else like these really nice shots that just let you get a feel of the characters there are a lot of really simple long takes in this movie which maybe you don't really get that they're long takes and it just kind of puts you into the scene it puts you into clint eastwood's inspector at the very start of the movie where he's like on the rooftop looking at where the sniper was the camera is just 
mounted on the rooftop and it just follows him along as he's looking you get a huge really nice view of san francisco but it's just following him very slowly as he walks slowly around it again it puts you into the mind of this investigator of clint eastwood there are also some cool stunts in this movie the the school bus stunt was really really good i don't know if that was clint eastwood on the school bus or if that was a stuntman on the school bus but there was someone on the school bus and he was being driven around and stuff like that and that was really really cool i mean i wasn't expecting a cool stunt but i mean it was epic and i'm glad that they did it in real i mean 1971 you kind of have to do it in real life and I really appreciate that a lot. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this movie. Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry was phenomenal in the two movies now that I've seen him in, like that he's been starring in. I thought Clint Eastwood was great, but he plays pretty much the same character in, in The Line of Fighter as he does in Dirty Harry. And I'm assuming he plays basically this exact same, not a lot of words, a very macho, gruff man type character in every single movie he's in and you know what i don't think that's a bad thing actors have their niches at times and i think clint eastwood really found his niche and excels at his niche i mean there's a reason why he's famous and he he's famous for playing characters like these and he's so cool like i don't blame him for playing characters like these like i'd feel epic if i was an actor playing a character like clint eastwood it's dirty harry or something like that but yeah i'm wondering if the other movies in this series there's a bunch of them there's like magnum force the enforcer sudden impact and the deadpool and i'm wondering if all those movies are worth watching because i don't have any of them on my list at the moment and if they are please do let me know i also thought that andrew robinson scorpio was fantastic in this movie he gave me like just bone chilling unsettling feelings at times and sorry there's a lawnmower outside if you can hear that in the background and yeah thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel it really does mean a lot i would like to watch those movies if you guys recommend those movies such as like magnum force and the enforcer like this kind of series of movies i would like to watch them because i really did enjoy dirty harry but yeah please recommend them to me if you would like me to watch them and if there's enough recommendations i'll put them on my list and eventually we'll get around to seeing them anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time for my next movie reaction